Today I'm going to be reviewing Mission Command Land. This game came out in 2003 from Milton Bradley, or Hasbro, however you want to say it, and it's for two players. Now, Mission Command Land is a part of a series of games. There's actually three in the series. There's Mission Command Air, which I did the last review, this one, and Mission Command C, which I plan on doing next. Now, this game used to be called Tank Battle and was remade into this. Um, the object of this game is you're going to be trying to destroy all of your opponent's tanks. Um, you're going to have tanks, you're going to have artillery guns, you're even going to have a helicopter at your arsenal, and a missile launcher as well. To try. But the unique thing about this game is the fact that you're going to be trying to plot his movements and figure out where he is going to end up before he moves. That is rather cool. So anyway, without further ado, let's show you how it works. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and show you all the parts really quick, and there's quite a lot of them. Uh, the first thing we're going to start with are your tanks. Uh, each side is going to get six tanks, and each of these tanks has a number on the bottom of it. Uh, in this case, this tank has the number uh, one on it. Uh, now, there's one tank that has a two, one that has a three, and it goes all the way up to six. Um, and basically, what that means is that that is how many hits your tank can take before it is killed off. So in this case, if this tank were to get hit twice, it would be killed off. Uh, now, the way tanks move in this game is the entire squadron can move up to eight spaces. You can move each tank up to four spaces. And tanks can move either forward or to the side, but they can't move diagonally or backwards. So what you could do is you could go ahead and move one tank two, uh, another tank two like this, one tank uh, one. This constitutes five spaces, and then you can move, say, one tank three. That would constitute your entire eight spaces. Now, you don't have to move eight spaces. You could actually just move one tank one space if you wanted to. Right here, you have your missile launcher, and you're going to be using your missile launcher to fire at the helicopters. Speaking of your helicopter, here's your helicopter. Um, the helicopters basically only will attack tanks, and helicopters can move in any direction. They can move up to three spaces, so it can go one, two, three, like that, or one, two, three, like that. Helicopters have uh, four uh, hit counters on them. Right here you have your little artillery guns. These things don't move, um, but they basically uh, will fire at the, the tanks. All right, now we've got three different uh, installations to talk about. Uh, the first thing you have right here is your ammunition depot. Um, if you lose this in battle, then that basically means you're not going to be able to fire missile shots anymore, so that little missile uh, piece will be worthless. Um, you also have the helipad, which is for your helicopter. If you lose this, you're also going to lose your helicopter. And this here is your fuel depot. If you lose the fuel depot, then the squadron's movement of the tanks is only going to be five as opposed to eight. You can move each tank up to four spaces. Right here, you've got your counters um, for each of the tanks. Um, and so you're basically going to use these during battle. Anytime your tank gets hit, depending on the tank it is, say it was the tank that had the two power, if you got hit once, you would go ahead and remove one of these like so. And uh, here's the other side. The other side has the different colors as you can see. But right here are your dice and they have a red side and a blue side. Um, anytime you're engaged in battle um, or if you're uh, trying to resolve plotted shots, you're going to be rolling these dice. For everything except the helicopters, if you end up rolling a red, that is going to constitute a hit. Uh, and if you roll blue, then nothing's going to happen, with the exception of the helicopter. Now the helicopter, if you roll a blue while you're attacking with the helicopter, that is going to score a hit. And if you roll a red with the helicopter, then nothing is going to happen. Okay, right over here is this grid, and this is where you're going to be plotting your shots. Now, um, on your turn, you're going to basically be uh, deciding where you're going to move your tanks and your helicopter. When it is your opponent's turn, you're going to be using this grid to try to figure out where he is going to end up, and he's going to do the same for you when it's your turn. And so I'll go ahead and talk about these pieces. Um, if you end up guessing right with this tank piece over here, this represents tank fire, then you're going to end up rolling three of the dice, and any reds that you roll are going to constitute a hit against the tank. Uh, right here, these represent your artillery, which is those itty bitty little guns over there. Um, if you guess right on that, then you're going to get to roll one die um, and if you roll red again, that tank is going to take a hit. Now, the tanks and the artillery guns can only attack other tanks. Right here are your missiles. Now, the missiles are going to be used uh, against the helicopter. If you're able to guess where the helicopter is going to end up, then you're going to fire uh, these missiles, and you're going to get to roll two of the dice. Okay, so here's how it works. Let's say this is my opponent over here, and I'm going to try to figure out where he is going to go, so I'm going to go ahead and use this grid. So I'll just show you where he is again real quick. So let's just say I guess that he is going to end up on space 21, and I'm going to put a tank over there. Uh, let's say I guess he might go on to uh, 
space 36, see space 29, I'll put one there as well. Okay, now I've got these little turret guns I can place, so I'll go ahead and place these two. Let's just say I say, I'll just put them here. Guess here, guess here, and guess here, and say I guess here as well. Okay, and now I've got the missile, so I'm going to try to see if I can guess where the helicopter is going to go. And so let's say I figure the helicopter is going to go on to here and also here. So that's where I've guessed that my opponent is going to end up moving on his turn. So let's say my opponent decides to go and he goes ahead and he's going to go ahead. Okay, the opponent says, okay, I'm going to go ahead and move my helicopter right here. And then he's going to go ahead and move his tank. So let's say he moves a tank here, he moves a tank here, he moves a tank here. And let's just say he does something like that, like this. So this is where he is going to go ahead and call where he has moved. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to look here at the grid and see if I was able to guess correctly. Uh, so let's see here. All right, well, I was able to guess the helicopter with the missile. You can see that the helicopter is on space 40 over there, and I have a missile on space 40, so I was able to guess that correctly. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and roll these two dice like so. And since I rolled two blues, nothing is going to happen to the helicopter. But let's just say I rolled a red. Um, what's going to happen is the helicopter is going to go ahead and take one damage. So then uh, the opponent is going to go ahead and remove one of these counters. And now the helicopter only needs to get hit three more times uh, before he gets killed. In a case now I also guessed space 29 correctly. There is a tank over there on space 29. And I actually guessed with a tank token. So since I guessed with a tank token, I'm going to go ahead and roll three dice to see if I can actually hit him with anything with my fire. So I've rolled and I've rolled one red. So now this tank is going to go ahead and take a hit. And let's see how much where he is. He is a six. So the tank that has the six is going to go ahead and lose a counter. And that goes away like so. Now let's go ahead and go to battle. Let's say it's Green's turn. Go ahead and do a battle now with the two tanks. Uh, let's say that it's Green's turn and Green ends up going one, two, three. Now the way a battle works is the tank just has to end up in a space that is adjacent to his opponent. Uh, he's not going to land directly on him. So the first thing that's going to happen is uh, the person who is the brown tank is going to check to see if he was able to guess that this tank was going to end up here. And he would go ahead and resolve that fire first. Um, so after that happens, then these two tanks are going to go ahead and fight. Now this tank has, is a, what is this? This tank right here is a five, and this tank is a, the six. Uh, so what's going to happen is the tank that is attacking is going to go ahead and roll first. So he rolls his three dice, and he's uh, rolled two red. So the brown tank is going to go ahead and lose its tokens like so. Now brown tank goes ahead and attacks, and let's say he rolls these three. He has not gotten a hit at all, so once again it goes to green. So green goes ahead and attacks. He's gotten one more hit on uh, tank five, like so. And uh, let's just say the brown tank it goes and attacks again. And now he, the brown tank has gotten two hits. So this tank, which is a six, is going to go ahead and lose two of its tokens. So green goes ahead and goes, and let's just say green rolls two reds. Uh, my five tank has two more hit counters left, so since he rolled to red, all these counters are gone and my tank will have been killed off. So this tank will be out of play. Now let's go ahead and say that a helicopter is attacking a tank. Um, now tanks cannot attack helicopters, they can only defend against them. So now again, my opponent is going to first look to see if he was able to guess the helicopter was going to end up in a space with his missiles. And if he was, and if he guessed right, he's, they're going to resolve that first. Let's just go ahead and say that the helicopter did not get hit. The helicopter will go ahead and roll first. And he's going to have to roll blues in order to count them as a hit. Let's just say the helicopter rolls and he's rolled one blue. And this tank is a, the six. So again... He's going to go ahead and remove one of his counters like so, and now the tank is going to get the opportunity to try to hit the helicopter. So he's going to roll three of his dice, and he's hit the helicopter once. So now the helicopter on my side is going to go ahead and lose a counter, and basically it's just going to go back and forth like this until one of them wins. Let's just say the helicopter uh, ends up rolling two blue like so. Um, tank six is now going to be out of play since it just lost its two uh, tokens. So goodbye, Tank six. Now, helicopters do not fight each other. And let's say we have a tank that is facing off with an artillery gun. Um, the artillery gun gets to roll one dice to defend itself, and uh, artillery guns don't attack either. They only are used to help 
uh, plot uh, movement on the grid over there. So again, the way it would work is the tank would go ahead and pick up his three dice, and uh, he rolled two reds. Artillery guns only have a power of one, so this guy is dead. Now a tank can also take out a uh, missile launcher. Basically the tank would roll its three dice against the missile launcher's one, and if the tank fails to kill the missile launcher, the missile launcher will have an opportunity to try to attack the tank by rolling one die. In the case of these installations over here, all a tank has to do basically is end up on a space with an installation, and the installation will automatically be destroyed, like so. And also the tank is going to have to fight anything that is next to it uh, when he ends up destroying the installation. So since the installation was here, let's just say there was a tank over here, now that tank is going to have to uh, fight this tank. And also, if um, you were able to plot a movement saying that the tank was going to end up in this spot, like you said, okay, I have a feeling tank, the tank is going to go ahead and take out my fuel depot, so I'll go ahead and plot him that he's going to do that with one of my uh, gun or something. He goes ahead and do, does that. The tank is automatically going to lose uh, one of these hit counters um, because the person was able to guess. It's a little bit different because typically you would roll the dice, but not in this case. So anyway, after that happens, uh, this guy ends up losing his hit counter. This is a one. So actually, uh, this tank would end up being dead anyway. So the tank is dead, but so is the uh, installation. Now, when you place these things in the beginning of the game, the tanks are going to go on the back row. Um, you can place the missile launcher anywhere you want to. And when it comes to the installations, the installations have to be placed. Uh, they can't be placed on the back row. and They have to be placed one uh, row away from each other. So you can't have two of them on the same row like this. They have to be placed one away, like one here, one here, and one here. A heliport can be placed anywhere, and um, the artillery guns can be placed anywhere as well. They just have to be on your side of the board. So anyway, that's basically how the game works. Uh, one person is going to go ahead and, and uh, plot movements on his opponent, and then the opponent's going to move, and then those uh, plotted shots are going to get resolved. And uh, after that, you're just keep moving, and people are going to be moving back and forth on the board, destroying stuff, fighting each other, and the first person that ends up destroying all of their opponent's tanks is going to be the winner. So, my thoughts on Mission Command Land. Well, I had the opportunity to play Tank Battle uh, with my friend Mount Wilkins when he and his wife uh, were visiting, and I really enjoyed that game a lot. I thought that the plotting and trying to figure out where my opponent was going to go before he moved was really cool and when I was actually able to guess right that kind of felt rather rather good. <laughs> um, with this game they've added dice and they've added the helicopter and they've added the missiles um, and they've changed up a couple of the way the rules work especially with the dice. Um, I really like this game a lot. Um, I love the fact that you have to be able to plot the moves like I had said before and then you, when you're doing the dice battles um, it does actually feel like you're doing a battle of sorts because you know you roll, then he rolls, and you roll. So they get rather intense at times. Uh, now, with the revised rules of this game, this game goes longer than Tank Battle, uh, but I don't really mind that. Uh, this game does take a lot of thinking because you're trying to figure out uh, the psychology of what your opponent might do. Uh, you know, he might, you might look at the board and see, okay, well, obviously he's probably going to just go straight ahead, but he might actually do that. You kind of have to think to yourself, what might he do, and then place your pieces accordingly. So uh, that's a rather cool aspect of the game. I think uh, theme-wise, um, the board looks really good. It's kind of a cheaper cardboard copy the way they made it, but I really like the picture that's on the board itself. Um, the pieces are a little bit cheaply made. I know the helicopter blades have a bad habit of breaking off. I've had to super glue those things quite a few times. Um, but other than that, I think this game plays really well. Um, if you like war games, uh, this is a little bit on the lighter side, but the big part of this game is having to try to figure out where your opponent's going to go. That's probably one of the main things I like about this game. And the battle link's pretty cool, too. So if you like uh, war games, feel free to give this one a try. I think this game goes for probably about $25 on eBay or so. Um, so uh, if you like these kind of games, give it a try. Mission Command C is next, y'all. So y'all take care and keep on gaming.